Hi y'all, I'm Shelby Williams. I'm a soloist with the Royal Ballet of Flanders, also known as Opera Ballet Flanderin, and I'm also the creator of the Instagram account Biscuit Ballerina. Today I'm here to give you some good ballet juju. First and foremost, I want to say I hope you are having an amazing day. I hope that you are enjoying every single movement that comes out of your body. But I know that's also not always the case, and we do have our bad days. So, to counteract any bad ballet juju, I wanted to give you a little bit of advice of what I like to do on days where I am not feeling so fab. One, let yourself enjoy what you want to do in ballet rather than focusing on what you have to do. Of course, we always need to work on our weaknesses if we want to improve in ballet, but there are some days that you just don't have the emotional or physical strength to do so. And it's okay to take a day where you're not going to put all of your energy into working on your weaknesses. So, for example, if one day I'm falling out of my turns and pirouettes are just not happening for me, instead of allowing myself to get frustrated, I like to then shift my focus and say, okay, what will always make me happy? I like getting carried away by the music. So then I'll tell myself, the next time I approach this pirouette combination, I'm going to think about musicality and I'm going to enjoy being carried away by this music. So find what always makes you happy in dance. What aspect of it are you most drawn to? And try to shift your focus to that and away from whatever negative aspect of it you're getting stuck on. Two, take it one step at a time. Sometimes I can get overwhelmed by something in class if it's just too long of a combination or it's too complicated or it's too hard for me. I have to tell myself, break it down. Literally take it one step at a time. And before I know it, I've gotten through the whole thing and it wasn't nearly as stressful as trying to digest it all at once. Three, take some distance. You know how they say distance makes the heart grow fonder? We don't want to burn ourselves out on dance. So if some days you're just not feeling it, it's okay not to dance that day. Or it's okay not to push yourself a thousand percent. It's okay to take vacation. It's okay to do all these things that are not dance related because you need balance in your life. And I find when I don't allow myself to have balance and I spend too much time only in my ballet bubble, that's when I tend to be most sensitive and that's when I have the hardest time. So remember, give yourself some distance from ballet so that you want to go back to it and that you want to enjoy it to its fullest. I hope that all of these things that help me help you, and I hope it has brought you nothing but good ballet juju. I'm wishing you all the best and plenty of happy dancing. Sending much love.